Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Lumion Legacy. As you can see, we already got a crowd <laughs> a crowd going on. Um yeah, so yeah. Anyway, let's let's do it. Time to go to Atlantean City. Hey Jim Leader Ed, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Right this way, please. So yeah, I I've done some grinding and stuff off screen. Uh I might have some different uh looms than the last video. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this up. So why exactly is there an entire city under the ocean? Don't ask questions. A long time ago, there was a project to build a massive city that hovered in the sky above the ocean. They called it Anthean City. The project was somewhat successful as they managed to get the main foundation to hover for a couple years. The engineers, builders, and their families lived up there at the time. Nobody is sure what caused it, but one day the city suddenly began to fall out of the sky. The citizens of Anthean followed the planned emergency evacuation procedures. All survived but one. Danny Stottle, the project chief. They say he stayed behind like a captain that goes down with his ship. I can't believe it. Nobody was there to save it. Rather than give up on Antheon, second-in-command Roy Votto launched a follow-up project. They recycled as much of the wreckage as they could and rebuilt the city right where it landed on the ocean bed. It became known as Atlantean and has become home of many ever since its completion. Who decided they needed a city in the sky, though? Who just said, oh, you know what? Let's let's just build a hovering city. That's a good idea. I used to think that learning history was boring, but it's starting to grow on me. Anyways, we should start planning what we'll do when we arrive at Atlantean City. Uh, Jim Leader Ed, you should call your dad when we get there. My dad's out getting milk, bro. He's not coming back. Whether he detects anything. Hopefully that will help us narrow down our search. Either that or he's, he's out plowing my mom. That's why he sent me on this adventure. <laughs> if there's a piece of that stone tablet down there, we should try to find it before anything bad happens. So far, the corrupted chunks have been either uh, discovered by accident and caused havoc in areas which they landed, or they've been taken and used for malicious purposes. Yeah, I mean, based on what we've heard and seen, we can't just sit back and expect others to fix this problem. It's up to you to do what we can uh, here. Um, it's up to us to do what we can here and now to prevent any more potential disasters from occurring. Gosh, when you put it like that, it makes me feel really nervous. Don't worry, Mabel. I should do the voices. We're all in this together, right, guys? That's right, Lucy. There is nothing to fear as long as we work together. So let's put our trust in each other and get those remaining pieces back. You're right, Jake. I feel a lot better now. I'm ready to try my best. <laughs> I, I don't know. Should this guy's voice be like, eh? Or should it be like, yo, guys, it looks like we're arriving. Everyone ready? Let's do this, because he's, he's clearly a stoner. Atlantean City, transit hub. The ride here was so much fun. I could ride in a submarine all day long. Yeah, we got to see so many Lumians on the way here. So is this Atlantean City? What's going on? That's a big boy. What just happened? It sounded like the city was under attack. That noise you just heard came from Maldica. Maldica is a massive Lumian that resides in the waters outside the city's dome. It showed up several years ago and it's kept close to Atlantean City ever since. Nobody knows why it's here or where it came from. <sighs> Both the guys never tried to attack people or the city, which is what people were most afraid of when it first showed up. On the contrary, it seems as if it's trying to protect the city. It's usually quite docile, at least until a couple weeks ago. It started to move and behave differently, circling the city closer and closer, making these loud sounds you heard just now. Nobody knows why it's acting up. Some people believe it's threatening us, while others think it's warning us of danger. <clears throat> but don't let it get you too worried. You are safe here in Atlantean City. Enjoy your time. Don't, don't let that massive uh, Lumian get you worried. You know, we just got some glass. We're good. If you need any help navigating the city, there's a map over there to guide you. Oh, thanks for the heads up. It's my pleasure. Okay, let's go take a look at the map and figure out where we are. Okay, right now we're standing in the transit hub. All of the submarines which take people to and from Atlantean City come through here. See that dome in the center of the city? That's where we are now. Okay. So the city is split in two major districts. That's right. 
One side of us is a living district where the residents of Atlantean dwell. Opposite from that is the entertainment district. That's where you can find all the shops and other places of interest. The battle theater is there too, right? Yes, you probably want to go there at some point. Oh, that museum uh, we talked about. Yes, the city's pretty big. It looks like there are a lot of places to search. Jim Leader Ed, now, now would be a good chance uh, to call your parents. Okay. Oh, you hear the background? Eh. Oh. Oh. Hey, champ. Uh, how are things going? Oh, and who else is there with you? Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm Lucy. I suck. I'm Jake. We've heard about your predicament with the Corrupted Stone Tablet and decided to team up with Jim Leader Ed. Ah, so these are your new friends you told us about. <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions here. Yep, that's sus. It puts my mind at ease knowing that Jim Leader Ed has, has friends to help him along this difficult mission. If my wife and I weren't busy trying to unveil the mystery behind the- Yeah! Yeah! They're trying to unveil some mysteries, alright? But it ain't about the stone tablet. We'd be right out there with you all. <laughs> trying to laugh under his breath. Try not to laugh, rather. For now, I will do everything I can do to assist you from my lab. Well, that's actually why we called. We heard from Jim Leader Ed that we, you are tracking the potential locations of the remaining chunks. We want to know if you could scan for signs that there may be a piece around Atlantean City. Sorry for the yawning, guys. So you're in Atlantean City now, I take it? I thought you recognized, I thought I recognized the sounds in the background. It must be the transportation hub. That's some coincidence. I had been tracking a signal out in the ocean near Atlantean City, but I lost the signal a few days ago. It may be too far underwater for me to continue tracking it in my lab. Say, have you kids heard of the Atlantean Museum? I have an old friend that works there. I could try to set something up with him to track the tablet directly from Atlantean City. Uh, he could give you, he could even give you the museum tour while you're there. If you all give me a little time, I'll talk with him and we'll get things set up. Alright, we can hang around the city and look for anything suspicious while we wait. That's perfect. Spend some time exploring the city and then head to the museum. I should hopefully have everything ready soon. Oh, and thanks again for helping out Jim Leader Ed and I. Take care, champ. Bye for now. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here, Jim Leader Ed's mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing he says before he leaves. Shh, it's canon. Well, where do we start looking? Atlantean's so big and there's so many places here to search for clues. Well, well what if we split up? Freaking people, man. That's how you get killed. We could each go ask around the city and see if anyone has noticed anything strange. Okay, we can cover more ground if we split up, but we need to be careful. In that case, Jake and I... Oh, she's trying to get laid. Uh, we'll head towards a variable design and look around there. Jake could use, the new war could use a new wardrobe. No offense, Jake, but you dress like you're from another planet. That's rude. Mabel... That's actually not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind some new clothes to help me fit in better. She's gonna be like, I'll help you with that. Hmm, I'm gonna go start this new noodle store. I wanna go with him, bro. Colossal chips, I bet it's bursting with uh, information. <laughs> you all are just going to places you wanna hang out. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Just don't forget why we're here. Ask questions along the way. I'm gonna meet my Aunt Luna and see if she knows anything. She's lived down here for a while and would know if anything is out of the ordinary. What about you, Ed? <clears throat> where do you want to go? Oh, Gym Leader Ed, you plan to challenge the Battle Theater while we're here, right? Oh, God. You should go get tickets so we can all watch you. <laughs> I'm going to get killed. Could you guys at least pretend to care about why we came here? Okay, it's okay, Lucy. There's no harm as long as we remain vigilant. Uh, we may as well enjoy ourselves a little while we're on this journey, right? Yeah, I guess so. Awesome, it's settled. We'll split up for now and rendezvous at the Atlantean Museum later. Jim Leader Ed, come find us after you've gotten the tickets. I, I hope I don't have to fight first. <laughs> All right, come on, Jake. Follow me. All right, lead the way. Noodles, here I come. Let's see if the fans are here now. Hey, Ed. Oh, they're here. It's a monkey. What's up, guys? All right, let's go. That thing's cool. Let's see what this person's saying. I've read up on a lot of how submarines work. When I graduate school, nobody cares. You smell. You're smelly willy. Okay, you know what? Let's pick a random door and let's go through it. 
It's all that matters. Oh, we got to the entertainment district. Cool. Oh, we got a store here. Move out of my way. Oh, can we not go inside? You can't go in there? That's disgusting. Nice rainbow uh, thingy. What the? Oh, this is a museum, right? Hi, welcome to all oh, variable design. Feel free to look around. The dressing rooms are in the back. Where's Where's Jake and Mabel? Why are they both in a dressing room? Okay, well, we can't. It's not like we can get clothes. The clothes are based in your Roblox stuff, right? Oh, by the way, our starter's like one level away from evolving. I should have mentioned that. Okay. Clearly the battle theater. Oh, it's this guy. Another amazing show put on by our city's thrilling battle theater. Watch such elegant displays of power and skill get gets me so pumped up. I feel like I could take on anyone right now and win. Hey there, how about you then? You're not in a rush to get to the battle theater, are you? I promise this won't take long. Will you battle me? Uh, <laughs> I won't take no for an answer. All right. Awesome. Brush off the battle theater. We're done battling. Though you might have to take your Lumian straight to the Lumian trader station for recovery since I'll be winning. Valens. Uh, I'm assuming that's like an electric and metal type. He's definitely metal type. I don't know if he's also electric. Uh, he's level 35, so we're not too too under leveled at this point. If, if they got level 40s, it's not too bad. Uh, either. I'll try Cannibo. If he's electric type, we're going to get slapped. But, but then again, water's good against electric too, so we'll see. <clears throat> Deep freeze? What the heck? What the heck is this? Oh, okay, good. He's weak to this. Oh, he's got sturdy. Eerie stare. Sus, man. Uh, Hydro Slash. Well, I like that freeze doesn't make you not be able to attack in this game. That's nice. Yes. Let's go level up, son. Uh, I don't even know who Gardrone is, so we'll just stay in for now. I think it's another metal type. Oh, it's Evolve Form. Okay. Clobber. Not enough energy. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, we'll wait. Nice. Now we'll clobber him. Ooh, okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna end up sacrificing ourselves to the ourselves to the dark lords. That's fine. He survives with one HP. I'm fine with that trade-off. <laughs> Means we can give some e easy XP to our next uh to our Stozap here. So Stozap did try to evolve when I was grinding, but I, I canceled it because I wanted to do it on I wanted to do it on screen. Mochi B also had evolved, but get him with Thunder Chop, Chomp. Are you serious? Freaking UFO! Oh, I actually like this thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah, chomp him up. Still have game 13, 13 experience. So close to evolving. Crisite grew. Metatode grew. Trying to learn Precision Bolt. Okay. Sure. 
Uh, 60 strength, 26. Uh, zap the opponent with perfect accuracy. This attack almost never misses. Uh, wait, who's trying to learn this? Look at physical slap, or cycle slap. It's like got a longer description than can even fit. Uh, when electrified, hurl yourself into the opponent. Uh, flabbergast is mind type. Taste, uh, I don't know. It, like, it'd be nice to have this. The perfect accuracy aspect is nice, but like, it's special and does less than Thunder Slam. I don't know if I want it or not. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold off for now. Yeah, Metatoad wants to learn it. Uh, see, I don't know which which stat Metatoad has that's better. I think it's mixed, but we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll leave it for now. Oh, whoops. Because um, Stozap has special is more special leaning anyway. So even if um, the Toad is mixed and we have Electric type attacks. I'd rather uh, it have a physical one. Okay. The, the storm summon. Storm summon might be good for the, the boss because apparently it's doubles. Oh, I did nothing. Okay, let's switch. <laughs> uh, let's give Terrafly some action. Get him, bud. Show me what you got, bruh. Let's go Muck Blast. Stop it. Why'd you have to get a crit, bro? I did not do what I was expecting it to. Okay. Uh, all right. We'll sacrifice him to the Dark Lords. Goodbye, my child. Mega Chomp? Yeah, yeah. Get hurt by my spikes. Ugh. Still survived. <laughs> it's fine. Ugh. There you go. All gone. We killed Doge. Or Doge, or however you say its name. Oh, still, uh, still is that leveled up. It's trying to learn Thunder Strike, but already knows four moves. Yes. Thunder Strike. Ooh, blast target with a powerful bolt of electricity. This may also paralyze them. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of Thunder Chomp. It's it's much more powerful, and um. I need Storm Summon for this gym. Oh, Mocho grew to level 37. What? Yeah, you suck, bro. I kicked your ass. What? Stozap's evolving? Damn right it is. That's how we do it. Oh, before I get questions, I'm not sick. I just woke up. That's why my voice sounds like this. It's Gym Leader Ed morning voice. Oh, he too big. He too big. He too big for the screen. Zwelong, let's go. Zwelong is trying... I've heard someone say it's supposed to be pronounced Zulong. Zwelong sounds cooler. Zwelong is trying to learn the, the move Ancient Roar, but it already knows four moves. Should Zwelong forget a move in order to learn Ancient Roar? All right, let's see what Ancient Roar is all about. Threaten the foe with a fierce roar that lowers their attack and ranged attack, then retreat. Oh, okay, okay. I, I know this attack. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of Stretch. We're not using it. I guess I wasn't meant for the spotlight. With strength like that, you should consider challenging the battle theater while you're here. Well, don't just stand there. You won't win fair. You won fair and square now. Playtime is over. It's time for me to get back to work. Tell me what to do. Sir, I just spotted one of them heading into the battle theater. How would you like me to proceed? I thought those kids would show up in the Lanthian City eventually. 
They will soon pay for what they did to us at HQ. However, we don't have time for that right now. I'll just have to wait. Uh, we've gotten what we came here for. The power which we seek rivals the Corruption Stone. If those kids want to try to interfere with our plans, they will be sorry. I want you to keep an eye out on them. Make sure they don't find out uh, we're here. We cannot afford to uh, let anything slow us down. Not when we're this close to acquiring the power which we have sought for so long. Yes, sir. I will continue to monitor them. If they try to get in our way, my team will put a stop to them. You had better. Failure is not an option this time around. I'm depending on you now, Meriden. Goodbye. I won't let you down, boss. Of course, just a moment, please. Here. All right, I got the tickets. I don't want to go in there yet. Someone's calling you on your Luma watch. Hey there, Ed. I want to let you know that I found my Aunt Luna. We're hanging out at Atlantean Park now. It's in the Living District. You've got tickets for the Battle Theater? Awesome. Gather everyone up and we'll take the museum tour. See you soon. Don't tell me what to do. There's a lot of people who like to tell me what to do in this, in this game. I've got an issue with that. Sup, boys? Maybe he's confused and trying to battle. No. No. Never. Mwah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Running away from them. Oh, you know what? I gotta go back. I gotta go get uh, those two out of the changing room. I gotta tell them to finish what they're doing. He escaped. Run! Oh no, I'm stuck. Ah! <laughs> he escaped spread out. <laughs> Come on, Jake. There has to be something here you like. We've looked at everything in the store already. I know. I guess I'm just pickier than I thought I was. Oh good, Gym Leader Ed is here. Gym Leader Ed, do you think uh, you could help us find something new for Jake to wear? He's been picky and he can't make a decision on his, own, on his own. Oh yeah. I bet Gym Leader Ed knows a lot about fashion. <laughs> what? Are you saying that I don't know anything about fashion? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Just thinking it would be better to have two opinions, that's all. I have selected a few outfits to try out. Follow me and let's see what you think of each of them. It's about time. Oh, can we get, do we get to choose what we put on him? Hey, hurry and Hey, would you hurry up in there? Sorry, almost done. These pants are a bit snug. Oh, I can't deal with tight pants, man. Well, anything will be better than that weird cape he was wearing. Oh, no. He's not a Chad anymore. Well, it reminds me of a lot of what you were wearing before. Yeah, it kind of has the same vibe. It's much more comfortable. It's not bad. Let me see what else you picked out. All right, just a minute. Did you learn anything new while we are getting to the Battle Theater tickets? Uh, is there a piece of that corrupted tablet here? Uh, I'm sure we'll catch wind of it eventually. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, it looks kind of expensive. And what's up with the glasses? It's part of the swag bundle or something like that. The sign next to it said it's discounted if I buy it as a bundle. I think it's discounted because it went out of style a couple years ago. Stop this. That outfit didn't look bad on him, but what was with those glasses? I wish he would have just taken the outfit I had picked out for him. He would look so dreamy in it. Ew. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Oh, come on. It's comfy. What do you think, Gym Leader Ed? Yeehaw. I always wanted to be a cowboy growing up. Maybe I need a mustache to really pull off the look. Okay, fine, I'll try on another one. I wanted him to keep it. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I didn't know he was serious about that one. I hope I didn't hurt his feelings. Stop this. I. Yeah, that's fair. It's kind of itchy and smells like sweat anyway. <laughs> what is happening in this game? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Jake has never shopped for clothes on his own before. Let's just hope this last one is decent. He won't wear anything I picked out, so he's going to have to stick with something that he chose on. That looks fine. What do you think of this? Hey, that's surprisingly pretty good. What do you mean surprisingly? Uh, don't worry about it. Well, now that I've tried them all on, I just need to decide on one. Which one do you guys think I should choose? Hey, 
Hey, I was joking. Oh. <laughs> Let's make him the cowboy. <laughs> you think I should go this one? Yes. Are you serious? Well, whatever. We don't have a lot of time anymore. <laughs> Thank you, have a nice day. Thank you too. <laughs> all right, let's get going. We're all meeting up at the museum soon, Jim Leader. I don't forget. See you there. <laughs> That's how you do it. I wonder if you could change it later or if we're just stuck with uh, Cowboy Jake now. I'm fine with that. Okay, Lucas was getting food at the noodle place. Let's uh let's heal real quick. People keep telling me to go to the lottery, so let's go gamble. Welcome to the lucky wheel. Would you like to spin it? Yeah. Spin that wheel, man! I... What is this place? Is this like the PewDiePie place? Like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> welcome to Super. I see you already have a model Lumi watch. Once we're all set up, we'll be offering new watch styles for themselves. Come back soon. Okay, probably, probably for an update. This looks like the PewDiePie merch store. At least I'm assuming that's what it looks like. <laughs> Try to get out of bounds. Oh well. Atlantia Museum, not ready for that yet. We need to go get some noodles, bro. Where's the noodle place at? Oh well. These guys want me to go into the arcade. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, they got some, they got some MMs. Boonery? What the heck is this? Oh, I need tickets. Okay. Uh, huge plushie. All these shells. Oh, this is like the the gems from Black and White. Okay. Gamma Pulse. Uh, okay, interesting. We're definitely gonna have to do some arcade stuff at some point. Uh, Illumian equipped with specialty boots will have increased speed, but we'll only be able to. Oh, oh, it's a choice scarf. Okay. When equipped, a Lumion at full health may barely withstand an attack that would otherwise... No oh, okay, it's a it's a, it's a a Focus Sash. A Lumion equipped with Rageful Plushie when it's hit by Super Effective Move will become enraged, greatly boosting... Okay, it's a weakness policy. Um, and then what was it? What was this? There was another Plushie. Huge Plushie. A mass... Uh, oh. It's just literally a Plushie. Okay, I don't know what that does. What are people telling us saying? Wait, Dad, you should get Mutagen. I'll get mutagen later. Um, yeah, okay. I don't even know how to get mu mu mutagen right now. <laughs> okay, let's see what these uh, ticket games are. Oh, you gotta pay? Play do dog dodgy dobo. 
Oh, cool. How do I play? What? Oh, is this like a uh, Flappy Bird? Do I get like one ticket per score? That'd be pretty good. Coromon has Flappy Swirmy. Flappy Bird's making a comeback. I remember that thing was that game was so popular when I was in college. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. This is ah. <laughs> Okay, okay, you get tickets for your score. That's not too bad. I mean, we could play one more time. Oh, that was my bad. <laughs> if I end up getting a, a super high score, I'll just like, I don't know, speed it up or something. Because I could see this getting boring. But then again, I could use this opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I think it's really well put together for what it is. And uh, I'm excited for like subsequent updates, even though we're getting kind of close to the end of the... I guess you could say the current Let's Play, because we'll have to wait for like a new update after we finish all the stuff to do in Atlantean. So yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll come back to this. I, I, I could definitely... They said they wanted me to get a thousand coins. I could definitely do that. Should we try out some of the other games, though? Maybe we should try out some of the other games. Let's try out some more games. <laughs> okay, so that was the Dodgy Dobo. Disc Drop. Okay, I'm assuming these are all the same. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's a Whack-A-Mole game? Okay, am I not allowed to play it? Some of the machines are currently not operational. If you check back in the future, they should be working again. Oh, okay. Guys, he went back into the arcade. <laughs> I want to get the biggest plush they have here, but I need to collect some more tickets. My mom won't let me spend any more of her Luma coin. Okay. Let's try the disc game, I guess. Oh, no, it's like Bejeweled. Oh, I'm not good at these. Uh, our Candy Crush is a more is a more popular one. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's actually a monster taming game if you guys don't know that literally uses match three, uh, for the combat. It's called Beasties. Pretty interesting idea. Um, let's see. I I actually suck at these. Cool, I did something. Cool, I did something else. <laughs> I like that they're gonna add more mini games. I feel like the whack-a-mole one could be fun. I think I'm doing well. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I I don't know if you just go until you run out of moves. I'm guessing that's how it works. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what is this? Why am I getting all these points?
I'm just gonna be like, oh, I suck at this, and then I'm gonna get, like, the world record. It's fine. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't think today's episode would be uh, me playing Candy Crush, but... And Flappy Bird, but it's all good. Cool. Starting to run out of run out of uh oh here we go. It even gives you a hint if you suck. Oh that's great. Oh, no. That's not it. Ah, uh, we're running, we're running, we're running out of moves. Oh, here we go. I did something. <laughs> um. Yay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to quit when I'm done or if I just keep going until I run out of moves or it doesn't look like it's ever gonna happen. I also don't wanna quit because we're doing we're doing pretty well here. Um so <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh let's see. Let's go this one. Let's play Candy Crush forever. Oh, it's giving me hints. What does it want me to do with this? There's nothing I can do with that. Why are you giving me that as a hint? It doesn't do anything. That's what I need. Now I can do that. I did a thing. I'm just searching something up. <laughs> I better get a lot of tickets for this. I forget what this game is called. I'll just type in Lumion Legacy Arcade. Okay, let's go. Oh, disc drop, okay. Um, <clears throat> I got it up here. Disc drop is a game where the player creates a horizontal and a vertical lines. Okay, the player, uh, as well as the points, uh, results from this one. The game ends once the player reaches a score of 999, quits the game, or is no longer uh, possible to make a move with discs being cleared. Uh, matching a okay. Oh, matching a sticks with two other like discs. Oh, okay, th that'll make them go, okay. Matching uh, the blast stick with two other, okay. Uh, those can be moved freely when this discs are aligned, they encounter, okay. Um, okay, so we can just quit whatever. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna probably do that now because, well, let's, let's do this first. Let's, let's get a couple more points and then we can quit. 
Uh, that one's gone. Do we have any bombs left? No, I think I, I think this is it. I think we're gonna quit from here. Why is it tell? Oh, there. Yeah, we'll quit from here. See how much stuff we got. Oh, that wasn't even that much. I'd rather play Flappy, Flappy Bird. Look at this guy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll continue right where we left off uh, for the next episode where we're going to go get the rest of these guys. I thought it would be pretty fun to check out the arcade. So thank you guys for watching. If you are a fan of Lumion Legacy or monster taming games in general, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.